بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم these were the first five verses from the Qur'an to be revealed to the Prophet Muhammad It is really worth mentioning here that the first word of the Qur'an is Iqra, which translates into read, or learn, or know. Even though it is a religious doctrine being established through the revelation of the Qur'an, yet Allah did not address people by words like pray or submit or worship. Instead, he gave us an order, the order to know, to learn, and to think. And all through the verses of the Qur'an, scientists and people of insight and knowledge enjoy almost the same value of prophets due to the fact that knowledge leads to enlightenment and knowledge leads to the truth. Therefore, a religion that gives a great value to knowledge had obviously given birth to some extraordinary achievements in so many fields. Today, I will concentrate on some of the most famous Muslim inventors and scientists of what we call the Islamic Golden Age, which dates traditionally from the 8th century to the 14th century. This golden era saw a cultural and an economic and a scientific flourishment like no other in the history of Islam. Let us start and see if Muslims really got talent. Do you know that part of mathematics in which letters and other general symbols are used to represent numbers and quantities in formula and equations that is called algebra? Of course you do. But did you know that the father of algebra is Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khawarizmi, who is a 9th century Muslim mathematician and astronomer? Algebra is a word derived from the title of his book, Kitab al-Jabr. Did you know that the majority of medical instruments which are still used today, like the syringe, the forceps, the surgical hook and needle, the bone saw, and the use of dissolving it got to stitch wounds are all credited to the Muslim scientist as Zahrawi, who around the year 1000 AD published a 1,500-page illustrated encyclopedia of surgery. He is known to be the best surgeon of the history of mankind. Did you know that the first person to prove that light enters the eye was the Muslim scholar Ibn al-Haytham? who described accurately how the eye works after carrying out experiments with reflective materials. He also found out that curved glass surfaces can be used to magnify objects. His reading stones, as he named them, were the first magnifying glasses. He also invented the first pinhole camera after noticing the manner light came through a hole in window shutters. He noticed that the smaller the hole is, the better the picture gets, and he set up the first camera obscura, the first dark private room. Did you know that the first world map was produced in the 12th century by the Muslim scientist Al-Idrisi? That map is considered the most elaborate and complete description of the world 
made that time, and it got used heavily by travelers for centuries. Did you know that the first person to build a rudimentary hang glider to attempt a controlled flight that remained airborne for several minutes before landing was the 9th century inventor Abbas ibn Farnas, who was 65 years old when he made that attempt. Did you know that Muslims are the first to use coffee as a stimulus? It was fermented in Yemen around the 9th century. It is said that Sufi Muslims used it to give them the energy to stay up all night praying. Coffee then was taken to Egypt and in the 13th century it was taken from Egypt to Turkey and in the 16th century it reached Italy. Did you know that because Islam puts a huge emphasis on bodily hygiene, that Muslims are the first ones to use the concept of toothbrush around the 7th century using a twig from the miswak tree, a method made popular by Prophet Muhammad Up till today, Muslims still keep their buccal hygiene so healthy using the miswak twig. Still carrying on on the topic of hygiene, did you know that Muslims are the first ones to have invented and perfected the recipe to make soap, combining vegetable oils with sodium hydroxide and aromatics, a recipe which still the world uses today? And here ends part one of Muslims Got Talent. Please like and share, make the world know again of this Muslim achievements. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.